Hi everyone, this is Paul Daniels and this is what I fix daily. So today we have got a Mac for a change. Nice MacBook. This is a 1278, I believe. I should know these things before, right? Yep, A1278. And this is a 8203115. Now the problem we've got is that we get a green light but we don't get a fan spin even when we try to turn it on. So we've got a green light. No fan spin. So we'll look around the board. Uh, one thing I did notice is that there does appear to be corrosion on the inner shell. I'll show you that. Can you see that? That looks like some sort of liquid got in there. So we'll just find the same spot on the board and it should be pretty close. And this is the same spot on the board. You can see there a bit of corrosion there. That's uh, and just a bit up here too. Now uh, that is PV bus 3G hot, as far as I believe, and we've got lots and lots of this fluff around the place. Have a look at the other side. Yep, got corrosion down there. Okay, this is there's more corrosion down there. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to take the heat pipe off. That looks pretty nasty. I don't know what's caused that. See how it's just eaten away. I'm guessing full power went into that. Look at that, it's just completely eaten away everything there. I guess at this stage, first thing we want to do is clean this up and see what we're dealing with. Whatever this is, it doesn't appear to be overly soluble. At least not in alcohol. It might be in water. It's really taken out a fair few of these veers. We're going to put some hot air on that with flux. Just to try and start the clean up. Have we actually lost anything at all? Other than whatever was in that great big gaping hole there. We'll just give that wash off now. I'm going to hold off using the um, fiberglass pen for the moment. It really is a very last second resort, last moment resort. I'm just curious to see how far the corrosion goes. have had in other board values where the corrosion can do this sort of see how it's sort of powderizing and then when you scratch away all the powder you're left with a problem whereby there's no continuity through the veer so like that one there could be a bit of a problem that one there could be a bit of a problem mm, dirty 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 tweezers very dirty tweezers. Now, although it's highly unlikely, I am going to just try get this up and running again. Still green light, no fan. Let's see what our G3 hot is. 12.659, okay, so theoretically our SMC should be running at least. Okay, we're just going to work our way around the board, up and up the rails or down the rails, whichever way you want to call it. Okay, let's go for the S5 state rails. So we are currently sitting in S5, but we we'll be curious to see how much further we can go up. We have 3v3 S5. Uh, 3v3 S5 should be all along this section here. And we don't seem to have. 
3v3, it's sort of erratic. So that's our first thing of concern. I'm pretty sure that's it. If we have a look at the board view. You can see all here, all along here. That there should all be 3v3 S5. And we do not have that. So what we're going to do is find out where that's created. All right, back to our old friends. U7200. Where are you located? You're located nowhere near where I was expecting. First we want to see if it's enabled and then we want to see if we get an output. So we want to see on pin 8, we should have 3 volts or so. Pin 8, that's you. We do, we get 3.3. .3. Pin 4 should also have that. That's the turn on. We do check pin six to see if that's been tripped with the enable. And it looks like we're at zero, which is what we want. We've been told to turn on. Not really. So who tells you to turn on? You get told by you seventy nine forty one. Now we're going to check you've got power. The first uh, pin one should have 3v42, which we do know we have on the board, but it doesn't mean we've got it here. So our meter's reading a little high. Pin two is SMC PMG2 enable. So I would expect that to be probably high. One point two eight volt. That's a little low, although yeah, that that's marginal at best. So SMC PMG two, which will naturally go to the SMC. So one point three volts on the input. One point nine six. Now those two outputs should actually be opposite each other, because they represent enable low and enable. And I've got nothing on either. Rather than going through and trying to test to see if each of these vias actually is connected, I'm just simply going to put wire through them and um, solder them up and uh, just the same amount of work really. This is just wire from some high flexibility silicon, uh, I think this is about 24 gauge. As in the original loom it came from, not not the uh, what do I call it? not the thickness of this individual strand. And then all we do is we just push it through while we heat it up with solder. Unfortunately, I've kind of bent that one a bit, so we get that straightened out. As you can see, it's quite a bit narrower than the view itself. So that's probably gone all the way through there. Let's fold that over. Let's see. There we go. That's our little friend. Unfortunately, because the board height is different on either side, it means I have to constantly refocus. Come on. There we go. That's really dreadful, but... Also fast for the moment until I can clean it up. We're gonna to wanna to most likely do this one, these three here, and definitely I want this might be okay. I guess we're just gonna see this one here that we just did, that's SPI SMC MOSI, so that actually might be an important one that we just did. And I'm fairly sure this one is SPI MOSI. I don't think this middle thing here is, well it's a veer, I don't think it's uh, one of the ones that we need to worry about. Still nothing.
Okay, we've just removed the U7941, and we're now going to test to see if that um, G2 line for the enable comes up or not. Remember, this was holding down at 1.2 or so volts, so we're connecting power. And we're expecting a okay, so still got power there. Yep, 3.47, that's good enough. And we've got three points. Okay, so that's good. That's what we want. We had one volt on that before. So it looks like we found, hopefully, at least one of the primary faults. We need a replacement now. So I don't have another 3115 board, but I do have a 2936. Yeah, 2936. That's okay. The part we want is on here there we go how's that for fortunate same design so we'll just get that off and put it on the damage board so this is definitely why having donors is good if you can get them Here we need to put a shield on, stop us melting the memory connector. I mean, it probably doesn't really matter, but I do prefer to, in this case, whoop. A little bit trickier trying to clean up this area because of its uh, limited space. But paper towel it, try and absorb as much of that uh, dissolved flux as we can. This is definitely where having ultrasonic helps considerably. So we can get a fan spin. And we got a fan spin. Success. Fantastic. Alright, well, thank you very much for watching. Looks like we've got another winner. Catch us all later.